So when God has a plan, he absolutely has a plan for us all the time. And we need to follow his plan. He had a plan for Moses. Moses didn't think that he was the one. He made all kinds of excuses. He says, I'm not the one. I can't do it. But God had a plan. He said, I've seen my children. They are oppressed. I've heard their crying and I want you to go. He said, Moses had left uh, Egypt had left the, the palace and was for somehow uh, out of all these things he ended up in the wilderness with only the clothes on his back and deciding to, to never come back again but all of a sudden there was a burning bush calling his name and saying Moses Moses tell Pharaoh to let my people go when God has a plan you have to listen to God's plan if you want th to be able to keep calm if you want to be able to move on you have to do it in God's plan God had a plan for Moses even before Moses was ever born the Pharaoh was going around killing all the baby boys he said there's too many baby boys coming around in the Egypt, in the Israel camp and they might raise up and take over us so let's kill all the baby boys but God had a plan to hide Moses and and Pharaoh's own daughter grabbed Moses and trained him up as her own son God had a plan that he would be in the palace he would be in the wilderness and he would come and he would let his people People be free God always has a plan he always has a plan the Bible says a man will plan his ways but God guides his steps God has a plan for your life he has a plan for my life but the problem is sometimes we want to make our own plan and we get in a little trouble but God wants you to keep calm and to remember he's got a plan because he told us in Jeremiah 29 11, I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans for you to prosper and to succeed plans to give you a hope and a future does anybody want to be in God's plan anybody here want to be in God's plan hallelujah